Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I am Emil Najah Soud, the PhD student in Karabuk University, Turkey. Uh, first, it's my pleasure to be here and sharing my our works in the fifth international conference of nanotechnology and biomed biomedical uh, engineering. Uh, our work, it will be investigation, the effect of adding tantalium on the microstructure and mechanical properties of the biomedical titanium 15 molybdenum alloy with the groups, uh, Prof. Hassan Shakir Mejdi and uh, Dr. Erkan Koch and Dr. Amin Al Jubouri. First, the introduction about the subject. Titanium and its alloy have been used as a structured biomaterial to replace a heart tissue such as bone and dental implants due to their external characteristics such as corrosion resistance, biocompatibility, and low density. In general, the modulus of elasticity of titanium is about eight to 10 times greater than that the natural bone, approximately 10 to 16 gigabyte, uh, gigapascal. Corrosion resistance has an important significance when dealing with the biomaterial. The fluid present inside the human body create an overall a grievous environment such as burn containing chloride, a series of organic acids, and other component titanium entirely immune. About our alloys, however, study has shown that the liberation of aluminum and vanadium ion present in the alloy such as titanium-6 aluminum for vanadium can cause some healthy problems over the course of time. It's known that the aluminum ions cause, uh, cause uh, neurological uh, dis disorders and vanadium ion exerted with enzymatic distribute among their problems. Because of these problems, titanium alloy for biomedical application have been developed without of use of toxic elements using materials such as nobelium, tantalium, zirconium, molybdenum, and ion, leading to development the alloys system such as titanium 13 nobelium, uh, 13 zirconium, and our, uh, our, our work, titanium-15 molybdenum alloys. The problems and solution. One of the most important properties which put serious limitation of the performance of the titanium alloy as implant material for the artificial joint, such as, for example, hip or knee or shoulders or joints. It's the higher, modulus, uh, higher elastic model, uh, modulus of elasticity of the alloys. It is essentially that the stiffness of the implant material be as close as possible to the connected bone. The elastic, elastic modulus mismatch between the biomaterial and the surrounding bone is the key reason why successful fixation of the implantation material to the bone tissue remain a, ch a challenge. However, the implant material must be solid to resist enough the survey, the physiological load applied on them are required to operate for much longer duration or until lifetime without loose or revision surgery. For the solution further, the young modulus of the beta type titanium alloy decrease the bend on the manner processing performed to control the crystallographic texture. Besides, the elastic modulus can be varied or changed by adding some focus elements, such as our works for adding tantalium. The experimental part, the TI-15 molybdenum X tantalium system was produced by powder metallurgy method under an inert atmosphere argon. We have a fabricate four samples were produced as following. The titanium, molybdenum, molybdenum, and tantalium powder are mixed using a bone milling machine. An automated powder sample removed machine was employed at three, six, nine, and 12 hours post milling to characteristic the powder and evaluate the mechanical alloying process. Grinding generally arise the temperature inside the, in the, inside the bowling. The overhaul heat was lowered by operating the milling in cycle of 19 minutes 
milling and 15 minutes rest. Then cold pressing at 900 megapascal for 1.5 minutes with loading rate produce the grain compact 0.4 ton per second. Then centering for getting the grain compact by uh, for six hours at 900, uh, 950 centigrade with heating rate, heating grade five uh, centigrade in minutes, followed by calling in vacuum furnace. Finally, we go to the crystallization of the prepared specimens. First, the chemical composition as shown in table below, table one, the chemical composition of the, our product uh, samples. As we see when we are increased the concentration, we have the concentration of tantalium that will be effect on their properties such as physical and mechanical properties. The physical properties of the centered specimen as shown in table, uh, table two, sorry, uh, the porosity and the density of the prepared alloy for the density and the porosity. As expected, sorry. It's indicate that there is a disagree in the porosity value of the specimen after centering as the titanium, uh, tantalium contain increase due to the better in air diffusion caused by the, these additives. And also, as expected, the density, it will be increased as the increasing in the uh, tantalium uh, contain or concentration uh, due to the higher density for the molybdenum and the tantalium when it's compared with the titanium density. For the XRD diffraction analysis, we can see from figure uh, the, for the fourth uh, samples, it's observed that all the peaks, it will be the beta phase for the prepared alloys. Uh, that's because first, the molybdenum is a strong beta stabilizer. Being able to initiate, initiate the beta phase rotation at the concentration between uh, 9 to 10 percent. And it will be fully phase, uh, beta phase, it will be uh, between the concentration 15 and 20 percent. And the second reason is the tantalium is act as a slightly to stabilize the beta phase. For this, it can be seen that both alloy elements are acting as a beta stabilizer since there was a completely fermentation of the beta phase in the concentration above the 15 and 20 of molybdenum. For the SEM result, for the sample of prepared specimen, as we see from figure for the fourth samples, it's observed that the morphology of the all alloy is characteristic of beta phase, and this is arrangement agree, agreement with the XRD fraction, and it was impossible to observe another phases like uh, alpha phases that will be led to uh, weak the mechanical properties due to the small relative quantity. Also, it can be observed that the angle of the grain boundary is approximately 120 and characteristic of uh, material in equilibria. For the mechanical properties of the repair sample, first, the hardness. Because hardness for the specimen can be seen from uh, table four, it can be seen that the, the hardness it will be increased as the tantalium concentration increase. And this is increasement is due to the tantalium function in stabilizing the beta phase and decreasing the porosity as we see in the table mentioned before. For the compressive strength, the compressive test result obtained from the stress strength diagram are closed, clearly shown in table five. The com we can see the compressive strength, it will be increased as the increasing in the tantalium concentration that it, uh, as expected due to the increase in, in the density with the titanium content. Otherwise, the elastic modulus that the key point for our product or our works. As we, as we know, yeah, 
As we know, if we are want to pr uh, product, product a sample for testing, uh, elastic modulus testing, it's very, very, it's sometimes it will be difficult to produce by powder production method. Because of that, we are choosing a non-destructive test. It's called a ultrasonic wave test for investigation the elastic deformation behavior are essentially for understanding the mechanical response of the biomedical material. Be depending on the velocity of the vertical and long long longitudinal uh, velocity, as we mentioned in the in our papers, increasing from the result, increasing the titanium con uh, contained, increase the phase lattice parameter. The modulus is linking to the crystal structure and the interatomic distance inside the crystal lattice. Thus, increasing the phase the, uh, titanium concentration will be de decrease the elastic modulus. As you can see in the table six, the elastic modulus of the prepared alloy, it will be decreased. And that's what, what we want because the degree, uh, decrease in the elastic modulus, it will be avoid the mismatch between the alloy and the natural bone. And also the wear resistance for the prepared sample specimen, trilogical sample were evaluated on the wear tester for dry uh, sliding contact performs at uh, 25 centigrade temperature. The samples were polished uh, to mirror finish before testing. Samples have uh, the, the tester condition, it will be the surface area for the sample, it will be six millimeter and exposed to the normal loads, different load, one and three newtons with a sliding velocity, it will be about 1.1. Also uh, for the test condition, it's struck uh, five, five uh, millimeter and the total uh, sliding distance, it will be 75 meter. And uh, we can see the 2D uh, profile for the all samples and for the tables uh, that mentioned in the figures, it will be about the specific wear rate for all samples. From, from the figure and from the tables can be seen that the specific uh, wear rate will be decreased as they are increasing in the tantalium alloy. And it will be reached for, uh, and it will be changed from 3.51 to 2.25. So the wear rate, the wear rate of each sample where uh, across this load, it showed that the base alloy of titanium had lower wear resistance among the test sample. The addition of titanium reduced also the corrosion, uh, sorry, the wear rate for the prepared alloy. Also, we can see the SEM figures for the specimen after the wear resistance. It can be seen. The warm surface uh, topography for the samples may be described as a rough and with sign uh, of plastic deformation along with the groups parallel on the, to the sliding direction. In general, the warm surface show a dehazer uh, wear characteristic excited with the material transfer to the counter face. The material transfer from the produced alloy induced counter face darking, which in divide uh, with increasing the test load. In conclusion, from the result obtained, the joint action of tantalium and molybdenum to the stabilized beta phase may be interesting for to form beta titanium alloy with low alloying element and with low uh, elastic modulus. The mechanical strength is initially factor for the processing of impl implant as it's avoid defect in the material. The hardness and the compressive strength of the alloy prove to be higher than the commercial pure titanium, which indicates their greater mechanical strength especially when we are used for implants, for knee or for hip replacement. Based on the result also obtained from this work, the titanium 15 molybdenum 20 uh, tantalium alloy obtained the most significant potential for the biomedical application. However, further corrosion, res uh, 
resistant test and biocompatibility can be provide better information about the properties of these alloys. Thank you for attention.